Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I have two words that I need to release right now. Um, I think I'm going to cramp them into one video because I'm very busy this afternoon. I have a lot of things to do. So without further ado, we're going to pray and jump into the words. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything that you've been doing for us. We thank you for your spirit within us. We thank you for the insights and revelation and the words of knowledge that you give to us and the prophecy that you speak to us oh god we thank you for all of these and more we ask that our hearts would be ready to receive this word that you have for us and father i pray that your word would reach your people at the time that it is meant for them in the mighty and precious name of yeshua our messiah i pray and i thank you lord amen Alrighty, so um I can't find my tripod, okay? So I have to hold my camera, that's why it's moving a lot. And I think it's also noteworthy that there is a lot of construction happening in and around my neighborhood. So there are a lot of trucks making noise, but hopefully you just focus on the word and don't let the other noises distract you, okay? All right, so the first one is victory over the heads of my enemies or heads will grow. So this is based on a dream that I had on the 10th of October. And the reason I didn't release it was because I just believed that it was my word alone because the dream was very specific um in the dream that i had a man had tried to attack me he was trying to sexually assault me and i fought him off and i ended up killing him and chopped his head off very graphic but <laughs> um that's what happened in the dream okay so um so after this the lord was just pointing me back to the story of goliath which you will find um back in first samuel um i'll pop the scripture on the screen where david's victory was clearly an act of god because all of the other men who were trained in war the seasoned soldiers the guys who were experienced didn't actually want to fight this giant and he was coming out and taunting the armies of the living god every single day and these guys would quake in their boots and they would run away but when david who was anointed by god and the chosen one um the next king of israel god actually gave him victory and he was able to stand up against goliath and kill him and he chopped his head off with his own sword okay so um that victory was obviously the lord's and when david confronted him he said who is this uncircumcised philistine why is he taunting the armies of the living god and when he came against him um he said that i come to you in the name of the lord right he wasn't trying to do things by his might or by his power but the spirit of the lord was upon him and that's who gave him victory okay and goliath was actually offended he was like why are you coming at me with stones and and sticks like what what do you think i am you know all of these soldiers that have all of this experience in war are running away and who do you think you are coming at me because he was visibly smaller and younger than the other soldiers okay so goliath was offended but <laughs> he didn't know that the person who was in front of him was just a human vessel the person that he was actually fighting was the god of heaven's armies the commander in chief of heaven's armies yahweh sabaoth and um if you've watched a couple of videos that i've been releasing here that's the title of god that has really had us focusing on invoking in this season yahweh sabaoth god of heaven's armies okay um 
first based on a word that I released that was connected to Joshua chapter 5 and then also a whole other couple of scriptures a whole lot of other scriptures that the Lord has been giving us and there's another word that I'm getting ready to record which is also related to that and yeah basically it's the Lord who's fighting so in this season the Lord is the one who is fighting for you do whatever it is that he leads you to do right now if he leads you to fast for the remainder of the year if he leads you to wake up at a certain of at a certain time um, during the night or very early in the morning do it if he leads you to give up watching TV so you can spend more time in his word do that whatever it is that he's leading you to do right now do it in the same way he led the israelites to march around the walls of the city of jericho for seven days you know and <laughs> it may look bizarre to certain people around you whatever it is that the lord leads you to do but when you read joshua chapter 5 right at the end joshua comes face to face with the commander of the lord's armies that is yeshua and you know that that happened because the battle was being fought in the spirit that's why the israelites only had to march and then let out sharp shouts of praise and blow the horn but everything was already taken care of spiritually so your victory has already come through in the spirit before you see it in the flesh that's why the lord will lead you to be singing songs of praise and just be thanking him for victory even if your situation may still look the same physically it has already changed spiritually and the lord is the one who's taking care of it so be blessed and encouraged in yeshua's name bye